Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video But before we get into the reaction guys, I want to say thank you to everyone who's been subscribing guys. It's super amazing Keep on subscribing and yes, yeah, so today we're gonna do another reaction video and this one is from Zakir Naik the Quran mentions that the Sun rotates about its axis 1400 years ago. So, without any further ado, let's get it. Previously, the European scientists they believed that the Earth was the center of the solar system and the universe. And all the planets, as well as the moon and the sun, it revolved around the Earth. This was called as geocentrism. And this was believed since the time of Ptolemy in the 2nd century BC till as late as 16th century until Nicholas Copernicus in 1512 he propounded the heliocentric theory of the planetary motion and he said it is the sun which is the center of the solar system and all the planets as well as the earth, it revolves around the sun. And later on, a German scientist by the name of Johannes Kepler, in 1609, he wrote in his book by the name Astronomia Novia, that not only do the planets and the earth, they revolve around the sun, but they also rotate about their own axis. And when I was in school, I passed my school in 1982, about more than 25 years back. There I too read that the planets and the earth, they revolve around the sun, and the planets and the earth, they rotated about their own axis. And the whole solar system, also in the galaxy it revolved, including the sun, but the sun did not rotate about its own axis. In this context, the sun was stationary. But when I read the verse of the Quran, in Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 33, which says, Huwa lazi khalaqal wa nahar. It is Allah who has created the night and the day. Wa shamsa wal kamar, the sun and the moon. Kullun fi falaki yasbuhun, each one traveling in orbit with its own motion. So the Quran says, the sun and the moon, besides revolving, they also rotate about their own axis. The Arabic word used here is yasbuhun, derived from the Arabic word sabaha, which describes the motion of a moving body. If I use this Arabic word yasbaha for a person who's moving on the floor, it will not mean that he's rolling, it will mean he's either walking or running. If I use the same word for a person in the water, it will not mean he's floating, it will mean he's swimming. Similarly, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses the same word, for a celestial body, it does not mean that it is flying in the air. It means it is moving along with its own rotation. It is rotating about its own axis. So Quran says the sun and the moon, besides revolving, it also rotates about its own axis. And today, science has discovered that even the sun rotates. Since we can't see the sun directly, you get blinded if you see directly. If you have an equipment and have the image of the sun on a tabletop, we find that there are spots in the sun. And it takes about 25 days for the spots to complete one rotation, indicating that the sun takes approximately 25 days to complete one rotation. Imagine when I was in school, I was taught the sun was stationary, it didn't rotate about its own axis. And the Quran mentioned 14 years ago that it rotates. And now, alhamdulillah, most of the schools have incorporated that the sun also rotates. What do you think? Um, <clears throat> so clearly, um, Zakir Naik has, is trying to debunk the, uh, the theory that, I mean, when he was in school, they mentioned something else. It's, um, it's really quite confusing, to be honest, because what we are taught in school and then what we come to realize years later are totally two different things. It's like things are being updated, you know, it's like things are being 
you in school you had this now you hear something else what about 100 years from now um i was told the same thing like the sun was a stationary and the uh, planets were having were rotating on its own axis and all those kind of things and then later on in the early 2015 16 or something around there i understood that the earth was flat and uh, the earth was not sort of rotating or anything but the sun was the one that was moving around together with the um, together with the moon so that one I learned also you know but again when you look at it clearly you it agree can, with it? I mean when, when you tell me the earth is a plane I will want to agree with you but when you tell me the earth is a spherical then I would want to disagree with you because there are so many things that we need to talk about as earth being spherical you understand there is 200 truth if not facts that the earth is you know a plane which I uh, no one knows to be honest I, I don't know I'm not saying that I know these things no I'm just trying to use my critical thinking and my critical thinking lands me to the plane uh, as uh, sorry like the earth is plane flat yeah flat no let's 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 give it a plane because when you say flat it's like completely flat it's a plane so um yes and um of course so many things are coming to um to to, to the surface now so many things to be honest because so because you think it's flat plane or whatever you want to refer to it mm -hmm. it doesn't rotate it does not rotate yeah okay so so I, you're in agreement that it's the sun and the moon that rotates yes okay yes you know so um but the sun and the moon doesn't rotate in its own axis you know it like it it revolves sorry around the it revolves around not around like how can i say this i wish i could just draw something it 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 goes round the earth it goes round the flat earth it's not axis yes no no in its own axis means there's something that it rotates like this but this goes yeah it can be yeah i think it's on its own axis if it follows no no uh, I, I see what no. you're trying to say you understand. so anyway um uh yeah i mean the, the, these things of course we read them there are books that talks about this talk about that talk about this talk about this but do we really have have we gone up there to see how the earth is or we only have the pictures from nasa and this other organization that they fly to the moon and give us all these pictures obviously do they really want to give us the truth i don't think so they don't want us to know there are so many hidden maybe that's why now we're divided between the flat this and, and that yeah yeah but again they uh, of course also they want to create confusion you know this thing it's like dividing people you know or flat earthers and all these kind of things um again flat earthers think that the earth is flat but do they really know that do they really have the fact that the earth is flat they have their own truth but have we gone up there by ourselves to take pictures of the earth and conclude that the earth is flat it's only the people who claim that they have gone up and they have given us all those pictures and just individual people who have their own kind of thinking and whatnot and uh, yeah but but uh, as i was saying we're coming to an age where the truth will always prevail and we to always come out yeah it will come so do you out think so this is the truth coming out if back then in 82 yeah, he saying, course, was yeah. saying this and now he's saying the quran actually predicted yes. what now scientists are discovering yes it's actually coming out and most of the people are agreeing to it because when you when you when 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 the disciples when when jesus was ascending up to the lord the disciple asked jesus so where do we go from here because there, there was no one to guide them so jesus said go until you see a man or a, or a lady who bears uh 
bears what do you call this a, a, a jug of water do you understand yeah so and that one actually um in its own context it talks about uh, aquarius age a woman who is pouring water into probably into the well or just anywhere and that that one actually it, it speaks like it's we are in an information age as we speak we are in an age where it's called the aquarius age where most of the people are going to know the truth some will not the ones who are really aware will really understand that this is the truth so it, things are coming up and uh, what dr zakinaik is saying might be close to the truth i'm not saying it's 100 percent truth it will always come out what do you think I think it's always interesting to find that something produced 1400 years ago knew, knew this before someone actually confirmed it, do you understand? Yeah. Before they came and said, no, this is not the truth, this is actually the truth and we can prove it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they can. Science is always about proving things, mm -hmm. you know. And like I always say, always be open to learning new information. You can have this information, disagree with what Dr. Zakina Ike is saying. That's why we have the internet. We can go out there and research, see how they came about this um, discovery. And that's that. Anything else? Yeah, so shout out to the person who suggested uh, us to react to this one. You, the realist MVP, thank you so much. Give us more videos to react to. And yes, thank you so much. Yeah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it to the friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next reaction video. And do so.